right guys, we're gonna cover a new construction window insulation. This is a post frame home, but this is typically how you would do it on any um, new construction. So as if you guys watched our show, we tilt our bottom sill two to three degrees. That's so if the window ever fails, it'll hit our window flash and go down. So the first thing we're gonna do, um, we're using the zip tape flashing. This is nine inch flashing. Um, it's just uh, what works for us on this. You can get a bunch of different kinds of this, but this is really sticky and I like this. So we'll go ahead. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put um, flashing on this bottom sill and up the sides four to six inches. All right, so they do make some flashing that's super flexible and it'll go around this. This zip um, tape is pretty flexible, but I just take a couple pieces and we'll put them in these corners and wrap them around before we do the rest, um, just so we get these corners protected really well. Let's just cut a couple small pieces. We just angle them in the corners here, across like this. and then press them in there. All right, this stuff is really sticky and the hotter it is, the harder it is to work with, but the better it sticks. And of course, we got 50 mile an hour winds today. I'm just lining it up with the inside edge of the sill and then kind of peeling this as I go. Every once in a while, this paper will tear back in here, so you just gotta make sure you get it all off so it adheres. We got these corners protected, so just make a cut straight out from the corner. And then we just take a roller. Um, this is actually a uh, um, countertop roller, but it works pretty good for this. And we'll just roll all this tape. Honestly, I don't think this is necessary when it's warm. This stuff sticks so good, but it's not a bad thing to do. All right, so the windows that we're installing are vinyl. And they, I don't, I use um, J channel trim, so I cut my own. And vinyl windows are welded together in the corners and you'll get these little tabs. So what you gotta do, I just take a little razor blade and cut these smooth. Um, just be careful when you're cutting it, you don't cut yourself, but I just cut those so they're smooth. Otherwise it'll set your J trim up. file works good too. I'm not sure I understand. Wasn't talking to you. There you go. 
So now we're ready to set our window. We will put silicone up both sides and across the top, but not the bottom. And the reason we don't put it on the bottom is like I said before, if this window ever fails and water gets down there, it'll, it'll allow the water to work its way out over the house wrap and down the side and out. So um, these are pretty, the rough opening's pretty tight. I think you got like a quarter inch on each side, um, but you want to center it left to right and up to down. And so you can take a couple shims, put them on the bottom. So when you set it in there, you can get your window level with these shims. You have to break them um, to get it up or down, you can. And then we will make sure it's all plumb, square, and then we can nail it off. As you can see, we have our house wrap folded up. That's so once we get the window in, this will come over the flange. All right, go ahead and just hold it in there. All right, you can see we want it centered left to right. And then we also want it centered up, up there. We gotta go up quite a ways. So we're gonna have to go up, Jake, so just let off. All right, now press in. Kind of hold up until I get a shim under it. All right, you let down. Yep. There we go. This side could go up just a little. It's good, let down. All right, let down. All right, we're good that way. Good that way. Good that way. So we'll go outside and I'll show you how we screw these in. You can screw or nail these in. The nice thing about screwing them initially is that if you, if somehow it gets out of plumb or square, you can take the screws out and readjust it pretty easy. So we'll put one in each corner, check it, and if it's still good, we'll probably just use the air or the roofing nailer and nail it all in. All right, let's go check it one more time. This side could go up just a hair. So take those two out. And then pick a new spot on the... You got it in a new spot? Yep, yep go ahead. All right, so we're all level and plumb. So now we can go ahead and nail that all in. And then once we get to the inside, we'll use spray foam in along these cracks over the top. And then your trim will eventually come in and butt up here. So we'll do that down both sides. And then on the bottom, I do every other hole just to leave there a little space in case water was to get in there and get out. Okay. 
I'm gonna screw the bottom. I'm just going to run a, a piece of tape across here quick just to hold this down, then we'll tape up the sides and then across. Now I can't grab anything. run this right down along that edge of the window there. Well, there's lots of different kinds. This is um, asphalt. And then there, there's all there's all different kinds of flashing tape. There's like a bazillion. It's just like the zip tape flashing. There's all kinds of it. I mean, you could buy the zip, you know, like the four inch zip, and that would work really good. Which, if they had it in town, I would get it. I probably should just order it when I order that nine inch flashing because I do like it sticks really well even when it's cold and then we'll, I'll do the top and then we'll get that roller I always take this one step further I don't have my tape roller so we'll just do this by hand and I tape my flashing tape to my tie back with block it tape. Sides first, and then the top. And I'll roll all this. All right, guys, that's gonna be a wrap on the window insulation. If you guys haven't already or want more in-depth information, check out our Patreon account, patreon.com, where we go into depth every month on a specific topic. We answer questions. But as always, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next video.